Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna talk about the hardest time of the year, in my opinion, for our weight loss surgery patients, uh, especially the first year, and that's the holidays. All of our holidays are based around food. Halloween candy, obviously. Thanksgiving, food. Christmas, food. Hanukkah, food. Whatever, whatever holidays you celebrate, they're usually in the fall and they're usually associated with food. Now, the seasoned veterans among us, we've kind of become numb to that and adjusted to that. But the first year you go through this, it's gonna be very frustrating for you. So I want to tell you, cut yourself some slack, number one. Don't get frustrated and try to remember that the best flavor out there is healthy, okay? So when you're going to that festivity, be a savvy party goer. Look at the sugar content in things, look at the salt content in things, try to eat the freshest thing that's available. Does that mean you can't have one single solitary treat? No, we all gotta live, but Try to be savvy and very discriminating. And then when people ask you what you're doing, don't be afraid to share and say, this is a choice I have made. I have chosen to get healthy by having weight loss surgery. And I am not going to sabotage my success by piling my plate full of a bunch of stuff I know is going to make me feel bad later. So get that smaller plate. Don't go through the line more than once. Pick the healthiest, freshest, non-processed thing you can find and spend more of your time talking, visiting, laughing, and experiencing joy than you spend loading your plate. You've had your previous life to do that. How many of us have gone to a party before we had weight loss surgery over eight to the point where we didn't even feel good anymore or we felt like we had to lay down and take a nap? That's one of my favorite things about having had my lap band is I get full fast enough where I don't get that yucky feeling after the party. You know, so be smart. Don't take in too many alcoholic beverages because not only I'm not giving you a temperance lecture here, but I am telling you that that's a lot of calories that you're taking in. So be savvy about that. Don't you dare drink bubbles because bubbles are bad for bariatric patients. If they don't come out your nose, they're gonna stretch your pouch. So leave the bubbles to the other folks. Avoid ice creamy things. Ice cream and milk products are also very calorie dense and those things tend to come out around Christmas time. Does that mean you can't ever have one little glass of eggnog? I mean, you know, if you like that thing, knock yourself out, just make sure it's a small one. Uh, look for the healthier things, water, uh, unsweet tea, and my dietitians will tell you decaffeinated, you know, who wants decaffeinated, but you're supposed to. And be smart, enjoy the holidays. Holidays really aren't about food. Holidays are about friends and family, remembering what blessings have been brought to us. That's what they're really about. They're not about food. You won't miss it, but don't expect to cruise through that first round of holidays unscathed because my first round of holidays was very frustrating for me. I was very frustrated on Thanksgiving. I was very frustrated on Christmas the first year or two, but I got over it. And I found my joy spending more time talking and enjoying the holiday rather than the food. So if you need help during the holidays, we're here. If you want to come to the support group, which meets every Tuesday night, except for the fifth Tuesdays, come here because you're not the only one that's going to struggle during this holiday season. But by being with people that have been through the same journey you have, it might make it a little bit better. So enjoy your holidays, choose wisely, and we'll see you next time.